multiplication by repeated addition. Starry, I had told you to collect some pebbles. Did you bring them? Oh, here they are. Come on then, let's do a mathematical activity with these pebbles. See Starry, I have arranged these pebbles in five lines. How many pebbles are there in each line? Yes, four. Can you tell me, Starry, how many pebbles are arranged here? Hey, what happened? No need of counting the pebbles here. Let me show you an easier method. See, there are four pebbles in each line. And there are five lines. So we take four, five times and add them together. Thus, four plus four plus four plus four plus four is equal to twenty. So we have arranged twenty pebbles here. Starry, the number four has been taken five times. It can also be written as 4 into 5 or 4 multiplied by 5 where the cross is the sign of multiplication. Let us now take a look at one more arrangement. Hmm. Let's see. There are six pebbles in one horizontal line. How many lines are there, Starry? Yes, four lines. So here, six pebbles are taken four times. We write this as six plus six plus six plus six. It is equal to 24. Now write it in the form of multiplication, Starry. The number six Taken four times is written as 6 multiplied by 4. Hence, 6 plus 6 plus 6 plus 6 is equal to 6 multiplied by 4 equal to 24. So, Starry, multiplication means repeated addition of the same number. Now, Starry, I am giving you numbers written in the form of multiplication. Now, you have to arrange the pebbles. The first example is 2 multiplied by 7. Here, the number 2 is taken 7 times. How will you arrange the pebbles, Starry? Yes. We shall arrange two pebbles in each row and make seven such rows. How will you write this in the form of addition, Starry? Yes, we write it as 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Plus two. Here we have some card starry. Some dots have been drawn on these with different kinds of arrangements. We have to write the arrangement both as an addition and as a multiplication. Here is the first card. How many dots are there in each line? Yes, three dots. How many lines are drawn, Starry? 
five lines. So this arrangement can be written as 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 or as a multiplication that is 3 multiplied by 5. Let's take a look at the second card. Here, five dots have been drawn in two lines each. How will you show this arrangement, Starry? Yes, it can be written as 5 plus 5 or 5 multiplied by 2. Let us solve the next example. Here we have to fill in the empty boxes. Let's read the first one. The addition of the number 4 taken 6 times is written as dash. Here the addition of the number 4 taken 6 times is written as 4 plus 4 plus 4, plus 4, plus 4, plus 4. The number 6 taken 3 times can be written in the form of multiplication as dash. What is the answer here, Starry? Yes, the answer is 6 multiplied by 3. The next question is, 9 multiplied by 4 is equal to dash plus dash plus dash plus dash. Here, 9 is taken 4 times. So, 9 multiplied by 4 is equal to 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9. Here's the next question. 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 means 7 multiplied by dash. 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 is equal to 7 multiplied by 5. Starry, this question is very enjoyable. We have to color the given squares according to the given multiplication. The first question is 2 multiplied by 5. What do you understand from this question, Starry? Yes, the number 2 is taken 5 times. So, how many squares do we color, Starry? We shall color five lines with two squares in each line. So, we have colored ten squares. Shall we color the next one? The multiplication given is 8 into 3. Here, the number 8 is taken three times. So, we shall color three lines. How many squares should we color in each line, Starry? Yes, eight squares. The total number of squares colored is 24. 